right <coughs> ready so today we are going to discuss about this uh, quantum fourier transformation okay let us start this quantum fourier transformation so what is this uh, quantum fourier transformation first of all forget this quantum what is Fourier transformation, Fourier transformation, Laplace transformation, Hankel transformation, all these are called uh, integral transformations. Why we will use this integral transformation first of all? For example, I have in, I am in a time domain. But in time domain, it's very difficult to solve the problem. Then what I will do? I will choose another domain called frequency domain. So I will transfer the function from time domain to frequency domain. So that means I am going from one domain to another domain. So this transformation done by an integral transformation. So all these are different forms, Laplace, Fourier, Hankel, whatever it is. So Fourier transformation basically it is an integral transformation which can change one basis to another basis. That is it. So now come to the quantum, I mean Fourier transform. I hope you understand once again transformation means which transform from one basis to another basis. Now what is this quantum Fourier transform? This is changing, this changes computational basis, computational basis to Fourier basis, to Fourier basis. Okay, one second. So quantum Fourier transformation is basically designed for changing the basis of a computational basis to Fourier basis. First, let us discuss briefly about computational basis. I hope we know what is the, what are these computational basis. This is a zero and a one Z basis, and we can write this as a one zero, and this is a, a zero one, right? And we are transforming these two. Fourier basis. What are Fourier basis? Fourier basis are nothing but the diagonal basis. Diagonal basis means basis states of x vector, I mean x matrix, Pauli x matrix, which is nothing but plus and minus. Okay, so that is a 1 by root 2, this is a 1, 1, and this is a 1 by root 2, and this is a 1 minus 1. So finally, what is this a QFT? The QFT, a quantum Fourier transformation, what it is going to do? It is going to transform this a computational basis is 0, 2, plus, and a computational basis 1, 2, minus. I think now you got the idea. Which, mat, which gate will do this means a head mod gate. That's why, that's why we are using this head mod gate in this quantum Fourier transformation. This job will be done by Hadamard transformation, I mean Hadamard matrix or Hadamard a quantum a gate. <coughs> That's it. So this is a quantum Fourier transformation basically. Now come to the definition of uh, QFT. I want to explain. Uh, uh, yeah. Sir, one second. So uh, sir, you want to record this and upload it. Can you check uh, the recording because uh, there seems to be a bandwidth issue uh, either on your side or my side. But my side seems to be very strong. About okay. 170 Mbps on my side. So, I don't want this to be a, a, a problem later on when you. No, no, actually, recording is separate. I am not recording uh, this uh, streaming. Streaming is going nice. on as well as recording separately. I am doing. Maybe my oh, side okay. bandwidth is not good, I think. Okay. So. Uh, That's fine. Then, then if you are recording separately, I am okay because anyway, you know, give me that recording anyway. No, are you, are you able to uh, see the clearly? Please. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Except that the plane is lagging whenever you move. Oh, 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 lagging. Right, right. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay. That's fine. You can't do anything because that is bandwidth. Or do you have any other uh, alternate, um, you know, any Microsoft or something? Mm. Uh, team, team, we can install. I think it's not a problem. Oh, 
No, but how would you, how would you include the, what is that? That's the question. Oh, no, no, recording is OBS. That is a separately background it is going on. St live streaming I am doing separately and recording I am doing separately, sir. No issue. Correct, correct. But what I am trying to say here is how would you be able to show the whole of today's students is the question. So, essentially, would it be able to sense the camera that you have the okay, that's the question. So, I am not too sure about that. That's not an ideal route I want. Okay, okay. I know we should go ahead, sir. I'm sorry to drag you on this, but okay. Oh, just give me one moment, one moment. Or maybe you can reboot or something like that. Yeah, one minute. Most of them are not the cache memory actually when it gets filled up. Actually, this is our uh, our server, and uh, earlier we used Amazon server, AWS. Okay. Last time class we have used this Amazon, AWS. Yeah, I think that was that was very clear. Let me check my. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Please, Rick. Please check. Bandwidth also. I'm clocking 174 Mbps download already. Oh, <laughs> here that even 100 also won't come here. <laughs> they will say, but it won't, we won't get. One minute, sir. One minute. Last time we faced that board issue, no? that's, the, um, that's what I'm worrying. Fine, it's fine. Sir, can could you please uh, uh, close this and open that uh, uh, last time, last time, last time link? Okay. Is it okay, sir? Uh, right. This is uh, this is AWS. Actually, I'm doing the recording in OBS. Actually, you also please try that. That's too good. Actually, it is not related to the live streaming. 
Shall we start, OBS sir? Download it or what? Ah, OBS, you need to download and install. That's it. OBS. Is that a free software? Yeah, free, free, free. Otherwise, this video also I will send, sir. No problem, no issue. No, 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 no. I pass, pass the record. Right. So, this, uh, what is this uh, quantum Fourier transformation? This is what we are discussing. Basically, quantum Fourier transformation is the integral transform. So, first, let me give a small introduction about this uh, uh, integral transform. So, what is this integral transform? So integral transform means, for example, here we have some basis, let us say x basis. And we want to convert into y basis. Then what this integral transform will do? The integral transformation is given by integral transform of, sorry, integral transform of x is nothing but some kernel some kernel, I will tell you what is this kernel, into that y. So this kernel will do this job. So what is this kernel? Kernel is always function of your input and output. You can keep any, you can write the kernel based on the transformation. If it is a Laplace, another kernel. If it is a Fourier, another kernel, like that. So kernel will change based on that transformation. Okay, so for example, for example, just I am explaining example. If you have Laplace of f of t, then this kernel is a function of t, this is the input, and I am taking output as s into, here I am getting a f of s, something like this. So, the basically kernel contains the input and output, something like that. Okay, now come to this. Yes, yes. Now come to this. So what is this a quantum Fourier transformation? The quantum Fourier transformation is also, we are having one kernel here. That means the quantum Fourier transform of uh, x, just like this, equal to some kernel x comma y into y. Okay, now what is the kernel here? The kernel is uh, simply e raised to 2 pi i, I told you already, it contains both input and output by n, this is the ket y. And here actually why we are taking n, I will tell you. And one more thing we have to take summation. This is a summation over y because here the ket y, y is equal to 0 to n minus 1. And uh, here the normalization constant also we will take, that is 1 by root n. So this is the definition of a quantum Fourier transform of uh, X. So this is the kernel. What I am saying is this is the kernel. Which is the function of uh, input as well as uh, output. Okay. So e to the power of 2 pi x, y by n is the kernel. Yeah, this is the kernel. This is the kernel. And once, if you carefully observe, some textbooks will write like this. Actually, I hope you know this uh, nth root of unity. So, x to the power of n is equal to 1. Huh. No, no. nth root of unity is what? Omega. Omega n. Generally, we will write it as omega n. nth root of unity. Means, for example, cube root of unity is there. We will write uh, omega 1, omega 2, omega 3. Fourth roots of unity, what you will write? Omega 1, omega 2, omega 3, omega 4, like that you will write. Actually, this is nothing but, what I am saying is, this is nothing but, see carefully, 1 can be written as, I hope, e power 2 pi i. Isn't it? Yes. Now, yes, yes. Whole power 1 by n. What do you say? Is it okay? 
n through t is nothing but whole power 1 by n. That becomes the root for the exponential. Yes, yes. So, here this is nothing but what I am saying is n, nth root of unity I have taken as omega n. So, omega n is nothing but e raised to 2 pi iota whole power 1 by n. So, that is why I can write it as by n. Here, why, I'm, why we got n, that is what I am explaining. Because this is the nth root of unity. Omega n is equal to e raised to 2 pi i by n. Okay. Now, this can be written as omega n, that is the nth root of unity, whole power x y. So, that is why if you see some, some lectures or some people, I mean some textbooks, they will write like this also, sir. That is the quantum Fourier transform of x equal to, this is the normalization constant, summation over y, okay. This kernel, they will write like this, nth root of unity x y. So, nth root of unity is nothing but e raised to 2 pi i by n, whole power, that is x y. And after that, they will write. So, some people will represent the quantum Fourier transformation like this also. Right. Yeah, this one, this one only, this one only, this one only. Right. Okay. So, now, let us discuss. Finally, here we got the quantum Fourier transform formula one more time. The quantum Fourier transform of x equal to the normalization constant 1 over root n summation over y e raised to 2 pi iota x y by n y. And this y uh, runs from 0 to n minus 1 of course. Now, careful, sorry. y runs from 1 to n minus 1. 0 now. This y is what? Oh, oh, oh. yes, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Y 0. I'm sorry. No, sir. This y we will write it as y1, y2, y3. I will tell you. What is that? Please write. No, y runs from... One second. Actually, yeah. Mm, sorry y equal to 0 to n minus 1. Correct, you are right. Fine. Now, listen. Actually, what are these x and y? First, this is the most, um, this is the confusion, sir. What is x and y? You tell me. Uh, x is the input uh, number, it could be 5 or anything. So, 5 that, is mentioned as 1, 0, 1 in uh, 3. Yes, yes. That means x and y are decimal numbers. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Decimal numbers. That's good. And one more thing, sir. x into y. This is the ordinary multiplication. This also I hope you know. Ordinary multiplication. Nothing else. Okay, fine. No. Okay. So, this is the uh, quantum Fourier transformation. And uh, shall we take one example here? Because if we take an example, we will understand. Now, I am taking 1 qubit, sir. Right? So, 1 qubit means uh, capital N equal to, that is a 2 power 1, that is a 2. Okay? Now, I am taking quantum Fourier transform of X. I hope this also you know. Some people will represent this as a tilde. X tilde. Okay? This is equal to 1 over root 2, summation over Y. This is e raised to 2 pi i x y by n. Here n is water. Here n is a 2. And here y as it is. Okay, fine. y is equal to 0 to n minus 1. That means water, 1. Now, let us expand this. 1 over root 2. Now, first I am taking a 0. Sorry, earlier I have said 1. It is a 0 plus. Now, I am taking a 1. That's why e raised to 2 pi i x by 2 1. Is it clear? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, see, okay. So, this is the quantum Fourier transform of x. Fine. But what is x? 
x again takes two values either x can be 0 or x can be 1 am I right so if I take x equal to 0 what I will get 1 over root 2 0 plus 1 e power 0 is 1 if I take 1 what I will get 1 over root 2 0 plus ah, e raised to pi i shall I write directly e raised to pi i is nothing but what uh, minus 1 that's it so this is yes so this is what earlier we discussed the quantum Fourier transformation of 0 is a plus the quantum Fourier transformation of 1 is a minus this is what we said earlier so finally we can say 0 tilde is a plus and uh, 1 tilde is nothing but a minus okay so for example if you take a, a com linear combination of state that is alpha 0 plus beta 1 what is the quantum Fourier transformation please tell me that means what is the QFT of psi You are saying this one alpha 0 minus beta 1 mm -hmm. what means you are saying like this alpha 0 minus beta 1 am I right yes, this is what you are saying mm -hmm. no one second whenever you are having this combination of states and you are applying the quantum Fourier transformation all of our operations are linear sir so that's why whenever you are having a linear combination simply apply ah, alpha the quantum Fourier transformation of 0 is 0 tilde beta the quantum Fourier transformation of 1 is 1 tilde now you please substitute what is a 0 tilde it's a plus plus okay that's it and this is a beta and 1 tilde is a minus that's it if you want you can write like this also plus is a 0 1 by root 2 plus beta this is a 0 minus 1 by root 2 so finally we can write this as alpha plus beta by root 2 ket 0 plus alpha minus beta by root 2 ket 1 so this is the quantum Fourier transform of uh, that linear combination state okay. right okay now <clears throat> shall we proceed sir yes yes please right okay finally come back to the uh, for quantum Fourier transformation uh, formula again QFT for quantum Fourier transformation of x is given by one more time I am writing 1 over root n summation over y e raised to 2 pi i x y by n to get y of course this is a y equal to 0 to n minus 1 okay so what is this uh, x and y one more time here it should be very clear sir listen carefully so here the question is what is y yeah earlier what you said is absolutely right y can be written as simply y1 y2 y3 so on y n if you have n qubits that y is nothing but this is this this is the state that means these are the binary values and this is the decimal value yeah earlier you said one example also 5 equal to 101 something like that same thing 
that means uh, for my uh, uh, I mean for my need I am explaining clearly sir if you know already it is okay please listen. So this can be written as y1 into 2 power n minus 1 plus y2 into 2 power n minus 2 plus so on. I hope you understand what I am writing y n minus 1 2 power 1 plus y n into 2 power 0. Am I right sir? Okay. Sir, but here, here is the kicker comes in. So, essentially if you see a people like me when you wrote uh, the decimal y as a combination of binary hmm. and then here what you write here are the powers of twos because that is basically the binary value. Hmm. But if you notice the leftmost hmm. you have y1 into 2 to the power of n minus 1 it will never be 2 to the power of n. Hmm. So that is that is one thing that you need to be really careful of when we are representing this word as it likes. You getting what I'm trying to say, sir? No, no, I didn't get actually. No, let us say, let us say, hmm. y equal to five. Y equal to five. Three cubits. Yes. Okay. N is equal to three, right? Hmm. Actually, this is in the digital electronics. If you have some uh, uh, basic knowledge about that digital electronics, actually this is quite similar, sir. In the, in the digital electronics, what we will take? Uh, three inputs we will take. If you have three inputs, the maximum maximum decimal value is 2 power 3 minus 1. Actually, three, three inputs, how you will write, sir, like this? Like this. And finally, what is this? This one. So this is a 7. How we got 7? Actually, whenever you want to convert into decimal, you have to come from right to left, sir. Right. And it starts from 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, like this. Right. So that's why you, here we have 1 into 2 power 0 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 2. Okay. Yeah. That is the 7. And Yes. But we have to bear in mind by the decimal form, you can never reach 8. You only reach 7 with the given 3 qubit combinations or 3 bit combinations, be it digital electronics or yes. computing. Yes, so yes. This is the first thing that actually uh, puts students away. Mm -hmm. That is why I was insisting on this point. Okay, we okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. <coughs> Fine. I'm thinking I'm uh, stepping away from the mood point, but... No, no, no problem, sir. No, yeah, it's okay. Okay, so one friend insists this is like, we need to understand that we are taking 2, 2 to the power of n, c means, let us say 3 cubes, 2 to the power of 3, mm. becomes 8. Mm. But when we convert to decimal, we need to be careful that you can count from 0 to 7 only, you can never achieve yes, 8. Yes, so yes, 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 yes. Because it is starting from 0. Count is 8. Count is 8 starting from 0. Correct. Sir, but I, I just want to make sure. Yes, yes, sir. So, once again, uh, we are, we are represent, I mean, we are fi finding the equivalent form. That is, uh, here, I can write like this. Y1 into 2 power, this is n minus 1. Y2 into 2 power n minus 2 plus so on. Plus y n minus 1. This is very crucial, sir, actually, in the quantum Fourier transformation. This expansion is very crucial. 2 power uh, 1 plus y n into 2 power 0. That's good. Okay, fine. 
okay so this is the uh, by, i mean decimal expansion so what i want to say is uh, for example just now you already uh, said if you have three qubits for example you have three qubits so we will take the decimal as uh, zero one two so on up to seven that is what you said and the binary equivalent is uh, simply this one zero 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 so on and this is a uh, one 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 uh, so because every time it's very difficult to write like this but always we will go with this decimal notation only so 0 1 2 3 4 up to 7 like this okay now it's over sir yes, yes. Very clear. right <clears throat> now sir this is very crucial please raise yes. so here the question is what is y so what is y? y is a decimal value and the representation in the binary is like this and we have already expanded like this. Now I am going to write this in the summation form. So this is 1, 1, 2, 2, k, k, y, k, 2 power n minus k. This is the summation over k. The k running from 1, k running from 1 to n. Yeah. Can I yes. No, no, please ask. So, so we have a pet X and a pet Y, correct? Mm. So, is my, is my hunt here or the, the, I'm trying to find the solution to find the value of Y or am I trying to do a clear a quantum perfect transfer of X? To change my computational basis from uh, computational basis to uh, 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 what you might call it diagonal basis. Diagonal basis. So, am I trying to find the value of y here or am I trying to find the value of x? That is the first question that will come to my mind because there are two variables here actually. Yes, yes. Finally, we are finding the quantum Fourier transform of x only. But if you want to get the x value, first you have to substitute what are the possible values of y. First we will do the expansion of y and finally we will substitute what is x. Because you, you are finding the quantum Fourier transformation of x. So your formula should contain x only. If again y term is there, what is y? We don't know. We know only input. So our formula must be converted into in terms of only x. That's why we are talking about y first. Got it, sir? Yes, yes. Right. So that's why what... To answer your question, sir, uh, that's why we are giving values in the summation y is equal to 0 to n minus 1. First, we want to remove this. That means we want to know what is this exactly. Okay. Mm, right, sir. So now I... one of my questions which actually I had burning in my mind. No problem, no problem. Actually, I'm also first time now teaching all these things. No issue. <laughs> no issue. Right. So that's it. So first we have to substitute y in this expression. That's why we are talking about what is y. Just take this and substitute sir. So then quantum Fourier transform of x. So every time it's very difficult. I'm writing a x tilde yes, yes. equal to 1 over root n summation over y e raised to 2 pi x as it is. Now I'm substituting y summation over k y k this is a 2 power n minus k where k takes values from 1 to n because n bits are there okay into this is a y1 y2 so on y n because the y is nothing but this one and one small yes yes and this thing is having whole divided by n this one as it is. Is it clear, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Now, now you have to know one small mathematics sir, trick, technique. Whenever you have e raised to x plus y plus z, how we will write, sir? E into to the power of x into to the power of y into to the power of z. That means you have e raised to summation, you are converted into pi product. 
I think I hope you got it. This is what summation. Yes. That means exponential summation is nothing but product of exponential. Mm -hmm. That means e raised to summation over i xi can be written as pi over i e raised to xi. Mm. Is it clear? Yes. Now see this. Exponential summation. Exponential summation will become what? Product. So now this is summation will gone, will be gone. And now we are writing 1 over root n. This is the summation over y e raised to 2 pi i. Sorry, one minute. I need some space here. E raised to 2 pi i. Now I am not writing this summation. I am instead of exponential summation it will become product of exponential this is the product over k k equal to 1 to n because the summation becomes product into this x as it is this is y k now carefully see sir here we have n n is nothing but 2 power n now this 2 power n 2 power n gets cancelled then what is this 2 power minus k? I think I can write it as a 2 power k sure. yes. into this is a y1, y2, y3, so on, yn. This step is clear. Okay. Simple thing. Exponential summation is nothing but product of exponential. Right. So one more time I will write that last step. The quant of this is x tilde equal to 1 over root n summation over y. Okay. And here we got the product, product over k, e raised to 2 pi i x. And uh, there we got uh, y k by, so I think, uh, one, one minute, yeah. y k by 2 power k. This is uh, as usual. That's it. Now the k running from 1 to n because n bits are there 1 to n. And here y running from 0 to 2 power n minus 1 or simply n minus 1. Now here careful. Okay. So we, we are not discussing anything about the x. x leave it. That is the input. We know what input we are giving. So we have to concentrate on that y. First means we have to remove that y completely. Okay, mm, fine. So here you have k equal to 1 to n, you can substitute. Okay, fine. Now carefully see this summation, sir. The summation is on y. Okay, that means y is running from 0 to n minus 1. What is the meaning of this? Here you are getting a confusion. Here y equal to 0 to n minus 1. Here yk, y1, y2, what are all these things? This is nothing but yk. It's clear. y1, y2, so on, yn is nothing but yk. k is running from 1 to n. Okay. k can take value 1, 2, 3, 2, up to n values it can take. Now what is this summation? Can you please tell me? I will tell you, sir. Here, this summation is nothing but summation over y1 because we don't have y. Here we have y1. Okay, y1 that takes only 0 to 1 because that is the binary. And the summation over y2, it takes 0 and 1, so on. Summation yn nth bit this also takes 0 to 1 this summation is equivalent to this sir so we 
it is basically a, a, a multiplication the second step that you showed sir from y2 is equal to 0 to 1 sorry. yeah that's what i'm doing now that that's what i'm we are going to do now please oh, fine so now this is the summation and a product what we can do is we can interchange both so that is a 1 over root n this product is coming out this k equal to 1 to n and i am bringing the summation inside one more time this is equivalent to this actually this is the meaning every time writing is a bit difficult that's why they have written like this strictly speaking actually you we have to write like this sir okay so summation over y1 0 to 1 summation over y2 0 to 1 so on summation over yn 0 to 1 now start e raise to 2 pi i x y k by 2 power k and I am writing y k. So remember that y k, y1, y2, y3, y4, so on y n. I hope you understand what I am saying. y k, y1, y2, this are the binary representation. Decimal value but binary representation. y k is nothing but here sir here no 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 down down the line yellow sir here here yeah the arrow you gave no yeah yeah so it will be clear to people like yes binary yep. okay now see okay first let me take this expansion now first i am taking y1 y1 i mean first bit for first bit i am checking y1 it will be 0 or 1 if you substitute 0 what you will get sir 0 plus if you substitute 1 what you will get sir 2 pi i x so it will be 1 it will be x plus uh, 2 to the power of 2 is at k is equal to uh, 0 uh, 1 to me so it will be uh, pi i x is, is it is it is it okay Right. So, one second. You get one. Yeah. One minute, one minute, sir. Yeah. So, y, y k can be, it can take either 0 or 1. First, I have taken 0. Okay. Then it is a 0. So, this value equal to 1. Nothing will come here. Plus, now I am taking a 1. Then, e raised to 2 pi i, x as it is, this become 1 by 2 power k okay but why why we why k we took it as 1 so why it is 2 no no i'm i'm not doing anything with the k now right now no no okay just I, I i'm do, i'm doing this summation only this is for y1. This is for y1. Mm, now please see. So we have to take this summation for y1, y2, so on. And each one we have to make the product. Say yes or no. Okay. This is the product now. I hope you, you, you are understanding what I am saying. Here, y1, we have to substitute 1. Because, see, everything it's not possible to write now, sir. That's why they will say like this only. First, we have substituted 1. Like that second one, third one. For all these things, we have to make the product. Yes. yes. That entire product, that will become tensor product. So, whatever we got the summation here, for that, we will take the tensor product. 0 e power 2 pi i x by 2 power k 1 this is the this is a k equal to 1 to n 1 by root n 1 minute if you observe carefully in this there is no y so y gone once again sir we have to substitute y1 next y2 next y3 and we have to make all the products y1 y2 y3 all the products so that product is nothing but what? Tensor product. Okay. So well, can I ask you some yeah. question here? Yes, yes. So can we go can we go that uh, 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 sigma one 
Yes, yes, yes. I will tell you one more small thing also. If you still getting confusion, wait a minute. Now let us suppose first one I got alpha 1. I hope you are observing sir. Plus beta 1, 1. I am giving clarity again. Into, now you have taken another one. That means another summation. Another summation means what? Let us take alpha 2. Alpha 2, ket 0 plus beta 2 ket 1. What I am saying is, this is the first summation, this is the second summation. For all these things we are making the product, that is not the ordinary product, that is the tensor product. Yes. Then only you will get alpha 1, alpha 2, 0, 0, beta 1, beta 2, 0, 1 like that. That means you will get the four dimension Hilbert space. Mm -hmm. So that is the meaning actually. So maybe we should run for a 3, 3 qubit or 2 qubit. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Sure, definitely we'll do that also. I'm so, really getting the concept what you're trying to say. First, instead of square brackets, you are trying to multiply each. Yes, yes. Whatever you might call yes. Uh. Uh, individual summations, we are multiplying them, which you are calling a tensor. That's it. That's correct. And hmm. wherever you have 2 to the power of k, hmm. You are going to run this pi symbol, which is nothing but a product. Mm. That is, so essentially what you have to say is, let us say k is equal to 1 to 6. Mm. You are going to get 6 times you are going to do the product of all these inside the square product. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Correct, sir? Correct, correct. Ante, that's it. No, at least, you, you understand, I mean, one more time you please watch, one more time, now please read some other books earlier, whatever you studied, then you will get the clarity actually. So actually, I don't know whether they explained this or not, okay. So this is summation is actually, this is the meaning, and we are taking the summation first, and we are removing y first. So y gone, everything, y, there is no y. And each but summation is... Not, what, what do you explain now? Ah. It, it is uh, Basic idea was remove y because we did not know what y was. Yes, exactly. That's it. Correct. Yes, <laughs> we, yes. We, we don't know what is y. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. So one, one second, sir. One second. Just I uh, will come within two minutes. Please hold on. Okay. So we will uh, write this in the full form, full format. That is uh, the Fourier transform of this x is nothing but. 1 over root n. Now, this is the tensor product. So, 0 plus, now, uh, now I am expanding this k, sir. Okay. e raised to 2 pi i x by 2, 1. First one, tensor. The next one, k equal to 2. Get 0 plus e raised to 2 pi i x by 2 square. Get 1. Like this tensor so on could you please tell me the, what is the last one ket 0 plus e raised to 2 pi i x by 2 to the power of n that's it 0 plus e raised to 2 pi i x power 2 power n ket 1 that's it <coughs> okay shall we move sir sir so here is the cost 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't make pause video. Okay, okay. Pause yes. I'm just pausing to put a break on my thought. Okay. So here, mm. if you compare to why they ask why, if you remember two, two is y to the power of n minus x and a comparison to here two to the power of n. The reason here is mm. because we are taking it in the binary form, mm. we are running across all the values Yeah. Whereas, mm. earlier it, it was 2 to the power of y into n minus 1, mm. for the reason that it was, a, it was a decimal thing that we were trying to do. Yes. And hence, it will never go to 8, but in the decimal format, it will go for n stop at 7. Yes. In the binary, we have n values, n binary digits, and a decimal, we have only 2 power n minus 1 value. That's it. Correct. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, sure, sir. Shall we proceed? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I will also get clarity while I'm explaining next time. I will make some more clarity actually. So Fourier transform of this x. Finally, we got this. 1 over root n. Okay. Some no summation, nothing is sir. Just I'm expanding this complete product. So this is a 0, e raised to 2 pi i, this is the first one, that's why x by 2, 1, this is the next second one, 0, plus e raised to 2 pi i, x by 2 square, 1, uh, 2, uh, so on. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yes. So finally, I will end up at 2 to the power of n, that is the tensor product of x0, exactly. exactly. e to the power of hmm. e to the power of 2 pi i, x divided by 2 to the power of n. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. Right. Now, <coughs> so this is the Fourier transform. Now just a few minutes back you said some people are writing in the point form, point something. Actually that is also needed actually. If you want to understand more clearly, that, that notation is also very very important sir. Shall I explain that notation? Uh, the, the, the 0 0.1. Yeah, yes, yes. Why, why we got that? So, yeah, we will go ahead. Yeah, so, right. up to this uh, explanation of the decimal, uh, the point, 0 0.1, you will Run through an example for two yes, sure, sure, definitely, definitely, okay. definitely. Sure. Right. So that's it. This is the final expansion we got. Actually, we need one more notation for this. Now, wait. <coughs> so here, please observe this last one. Because earlier you asked one question. Why we are swapping that final answers? So here you will get the answer. Now see. Now, x power 2m. Actually, what is this? x by 2 power n, x by 2 power n, what is this exactly? Can you say this uh, x to the power, x into 2 to the power of uh, 1 by n sir, I don't understand it right. No, sir, just earlier we said this x is the decimal, it's very clear. Okay. Now, please write its a, uh, Right. <clears throat> right. Now, sir, in this expression, one more thing you have to observe. So please observe this. See, this is our first cubit, sir. 
just say like that first one related to the first one and this is related to the second one okay now carefully observe first one 2 power 1 second one 2 power 2 fourth one 2 power 4 nth, uh, nth one 2 power n so why i am saying that we will introduce one mat one operator operation called uh, rotational operator so please keep this point in your mind second bit we will make the rotation something by 2 power 2 fourth one 2 power 4 nth one 2 power n so i hope just remember that we'll discuss again and now come to this so what is x by 2 power n x is the decimal okay but we know what is the form of a binary x1, x2, x3, so on, xn by 2 power n. Now careful sir. I said this is the binary. Okay. Now I request you please expand this binary form. Please expand. 1 by 2 power n. Okay. Please expand this. Is it sir? Is it okay? Are okay. If you are having confusion, I will explain in another way. Whenever you are writing the decimal value corresponding to this binary, you have to come from right to left. So here we have one minute. 1 by 2 power n x1 x2, x3, so on, xn minus 1, xn. If you want to write in the decimal value, simple, just write a 2 power 0, 2 power 1, so on. Okay, this is what, 2 power n, sorry, 2 power n minus 1, this is 2 power n minus 2, so on. Is it okay? Now, what is this equivalent form? decimal value what you are writing is the decimal value because this side decimal is there this side binary is there now i am converting this binary to decimal okay. so 1 by 2 power n so this will be uh, x1 into 2 power n minus 1 plus x2 into this is very crucial sir n minus 2 plus so on plus x n minus 1 into 2 power 1 plus x n into 2 power 0 cool now outside we have 1 by 2 power n. This one, this one. Now please divide sir. I repeat, here we have binary and I converted that binary to decimal. That's why I multiplied with 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2 like this. Now this is nothing but the decimal value only. For example, 101 is there. What is the decimal value? 5. How you got 5? 2 power 0 into 1 plus... 0 into 2 power 1 plus huh, 1 into 2 power 2. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. The same thing I have written. Okay, now I just care why you gave me 2 to the power of n minus 1. Okay. Please don't wipe that 101 example. Or you put it on the right side. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah, I will, no. yes, yes. I will take 1 not, sorry, 101. 101. One. So this is a 2 power 0. 2 power 1, 2 power 2. Like this we have to take. So finally, 1 into 2 square plus 0 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 0. This is nothing but 4 plus 0 plus 1. This is 5. So we are right. Just mention 3 bits also. Sorry. Yeah, 3 cubits. This is what I am saying, decimal, decimal and these are binary and now one side decimal, one side binary is not correct. So that's why what I am converting, binary to decimal I converted, okay. Right. Now, please divide with 2 power n, sir. Yeah, so we will get x1 into x1 divided by 2. Mm -hmm. Finally, two power n. 
right right so finally x by 2 power n okay one second see see carefully sir you have a decimal value 5 7 something that by 2 power n for example I have 5 by 2 power n because in the Fourier transform we won't write this we will write this but you have to know what is the equivalent form this 5 can be written as 1 0 1 already there so this is nothing but what sir That's good, huh? Plus zero by mm. whatever it is, which is zero. Huh. Okay. No, 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 no. Please. No, wait, wait. <laughs> it's not at all zero, I will tell you. Huh. Just expand. One, uh, one zero one is that, right? So two by two to the power of three. Three. Right. Now what you are saying, this will be zero. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Now, listen. If you want to understand, let us go back to a small notation. Mm, I will explain this. Sir, this is just an analogy. Okay. Now, forget this binary and all these things. Please be in the decimal. Sir, whenever you have a number, a decimal number is there, sir. 1, 2, 3. I have written divided by 10 square. What you will write? Yes, 1.23, right? So one more time I am saying, sir, whatever they are writing, that is the notation. It's very clear, it's a notation. Be careful. So this is the decimal we will write. Okay, now, for example, taking an analogy, this is the binary. Now I have x1, x2, x3 divided by this, sir. 2 square, careful sir, in the decimal we have 10, in the binary you will be having 2 base, that's it, 10 base and 2 base, I request you, whatever you have done here, do the same thing, 10 square means after how many digits you place at the dot, that's it, that's it. So now, one thing. <clears throat> now earlier you said, sir, here I have 5 by 2 power n means generally what we will get 2 power 3. Because it's the 3 qubits. Mm. Two, 5 by 2 power 3. Sir, it's very, very, very important, sir. 5 by 2 power 3. Now this is equal to, come on, please say, this 5 is nothing but 101. 0, 1. Mm, please expand, sir. 1 by 2 to the power of n minus 1 that is 2. Correct, sir? First. Oh, okay. He is coming from the right side. Yeah. So, 2 to the uh, 1, 2 plus 0 by 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 by 2 to the power of 3. That's it. Okay. Now you want you please tell me first you want to convert that into decimal or binary. For example, if you think it is a decim decimal, this is the zero, sir. Hmm. Okay. So could you please tell me what is one by two plus one by two power three? That is what one by eight. This is five by eight. So, this expansion, whatever we have written, that is equivalent to this. That is what I want to say. Correct, sir. Yes, tell me, sir. Now, it's clear? Right. Yes, now. Yes. <clears throat> okay, sir. Now, by using this technique, one more example I will take. You have x1, x2, x3 by 2 power 1. Sir, say by using the same technique, 2 power 1, how many digits you will come from right? Sir, 10 square, after 2 digits you put the dot. 
X1, X2 point 3. Now, one more gives us X1, X2, X3 by 2 power 3. That's it. So, x by 2 power n. This is x1, x2, x3 means that is also x by 2 power 3. This is x by 2 power n means x1, x2, x3 so on. Careful. x1, x2, x3 so on. xn by 2 power n. Could you please tell me what is this? Uh, that's it. No, 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 2 power n. It's gone. It's gone. So, x by 2 power n is nothing but this one. So, this is the decimal representation we have written as a binary representation. So, for example, you have 5 by 8, that means 5 by 2 power 3. So, 5 means 1, 0, 1. So, this is equivalent to 0 0.101. And if you want to check whether it is right or wrong, yes, you can check. Now, this is after point. That's why, see this expansion. 1 by 2 plus 0 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 cube. Just now I said LCM is 8, 4 and this is 0 and 1, 5 by 8. So I hope you understand now, whatever the decimal value we have taken, just we are writing in the equivalent form of binary. Mm -hmm. Binary but with that uh, point. Yeah, yes. More like a fraction. Yes, yes, yes. Binary fraction I would say. Okay, okay. <laughs> right. Shall we proceed? Now tell me. Uh, now tell me sir x by 2. Sir, remember, this x is what? x1, x2, x3, so on. Okay? Now, what is x by 2 now? Uh, x by 2 would be uh, point x. Point? Okay. Okay, okay. Say this one x by 2 power n is what? This one clear sir? Okay fine. No problem. So now again let me take a x tilde. One more time I am ta taking this expression to, to make clear that what is this because very very crucial. So one more time I am taking this expansion. This is a ket 0 e raised to 2 pi i x by 2 1 can you can you say sir that's it right now we got it out what is this Okay, right. Now, earlier we have already shown this. x by 2 power n is nothing but x1, x2, so on, xn by 2 power n. This is nothing but point x1, x2, x3, so on, xn. Is it clear? Right. Now, see, sir. Now, I would like to find x by 2 power n minus 1 x by 2 power n is the last one. I want to find each and everything. This one, this one. I want to know what exactly it is. Because that is the decimal. But we are doing the circuit analysis with the binary values, not the decimal actually. We have to convert. That means we have to know what is the correct notation. x by 2 power n minus 1. Shall I write like this, sir? x by 2 power n into 2. So this is nothing but 2 into 2 into x by 2 power n which is equal to 2 into already x by 2 power n you know. Okay. Now please tell me what is this? This will be 0.2x1 2 into x2 
No, 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 no. Wait. Again, take the decimal analogy. Now here, for example, you have 1.23, sir. Okay. 0 0.123, sir. You are multiplying with 10. What you will write? Oh, 1.23. Yes. Now come to the binary. Sir, here you have point x1, x2, x3. I have taken two, 3 only. Now you are multiplying with 2. See sir, it's a simply analogy. Whatever the decimal we are doing, the same thing with binary. X1, the actual decimal. Ah, correct. X2, X3. That's it. So, this is nothing but, this is nothing but, once you multiply it with the 2, so dot will shift to one place. That's why x1 dot, uh, x2 so on, x3 so on, xn. Is that clear, sir? Yes. Now, now see, sir, very, very, very important. Now, every term is having this. Because this value we know already, it's gone. That is a point uh, uh, x1, x2, so on, xn. Now, this before term, am I right? Yeah. So, this contains e raised to 2 pi i x by 2 power n minus 1. Now, see carefully. Sir, please take this and substitute here. e raised to 2 pi i. Please substitute x1 dot x2, x3, so on, xn. Is it clear, sir? Yes. Now, I think this can be written as x1 plus point x2, x3, so on, xn. Is it? For example, you have 1.23. Hmm. Hmm. 3 raised to 2 pi i. 1 plus 0.23. Okay, right. Right. So, now, please split it. e raised to 2 pi i. Into x. X1. Mm -hmm. Okay. X1. Okay. Into e to the power. That's it. Ah. Ah, one minute. Are you power 2 pi i. Ah, Point yes, yes, yes. Now, what is x1? x1 is our bit, qubit, either 0 or 1. Okay? Now, if you substitute 0, then also it is 1. If you substitute 1, then also it is 1. 0. 1. To the power of 0 is 1. Yes. If you put it 1 also, if you see e to the power of 2 pi, cos uh, uh, 360, which is the cos 0, which is 1. Sin 0 is a 0. That means this entire value is always 1. So finally, this is equivalent to e raised to 2 pi i x by 2 power n minus 1 is nothing but e raised to 2 pi i. Sir, whenever it is 2 power n, starting from point x1, x2, x3, whenever 2 power n minus 1, huh, point x2, x3, so on, xn. Sir, so what if it was 2 to the power of n, you said it will be uh, uh, point uh, x1, x2, right? Hmm. If yes. it is uh, 2 to the power of n minus 1, we have such thing left, then... Uh, you are moving the x1 into uh, uh, the before the decimal, then x2 is, is still remaining the decimal part. Sir. Hmm. Actually, this uh, decimal part is okay. This integral part never come into the expansion. The reason is, we don't have simply x1. We have e raised to 2 pi i x1. This integral part will go here and this entire value always 1. That's why it is a shifting. Yes, yes. But first, trying to explain mathematically, sir. Mm. If it's 2 to the power of n, if it was by 2 to the power of n, mm. it would have become point x1, x2, x3, x4. And how would be 
because you told me it's x divided by two to the power of n minus one, it should have to mathematically x one past x two, x three, x four, x five till x n. That's correct. But because no x one is going to be one, irrespective of whether x is v, x one is zero or one, it is going to be okay because it will be two pi or zero. Yes. Two to the power of two pi or two to the power of zero, which is one. So there is this question of x one. So finally, e raised to 2 pi i x power 2 n minus 1 is nothing but e raised to 2 pi i 2 power n minus 1. So point x2, x3, so on, xn. I will explain one, one small example with the, by taking a 3 qubits. Then, then you will get clear, sir. 3 qubits. Okay, so take any number, sir. Shall I take 5 or 6, anything, whatever? 5. Yeah. 5. Right, sir. Sir, 5 is nothing but 1, 0, 1. Now, maximum value is what? x by 2 power n. Now, here my x is 5, sir. That means I am finding the quantum Fourier transform of 5. Mm -hmm. This is my target. So, that's why my x is what? Decimal value? 5. So, 5, the equivalent binary form is 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. Okay? Right. So, if I take x equal to 5 and n is 3 qubits, then could you please tell me what is this? 5 by 2 cube. Right? X by 2 power n is nothing but 5 by 2 power 3. Am I right? Yes. Ah, now please tell me. Earlier we have already explained everything. x by 2 power n is equal to 2. Point x1, x2, x3, so on, xn. Now come and say. Point uh, 101. One. That's it. That's nice. Over. Now see sir. <coughs> now I am going to find 5 by 2 square. Because okay. in my Fourier transform, Last term is 5 by 2 cube, before term is 5 by 2 square and earlier next to first term is 5 by 2. I have to find all those things. So, 1.01 1 .01, sir. Ah, that's it. That's it. Shall I explain how or no need done? No, no, no. Just write 1.01. 1 .01. Ah, yeah. Uh, no, uh, just for my satisfaction I will write. Uh, 5 by 2 cube into 2. So, this is nothing but 2 into 0 0.101. Whenever you are multiplying with 10, how we will shift the decimal? In the same way, shift the decimal. 1.01. .01. But... And this, just beside that 2 into 0 0.101, just write binary. Yeah. So that it will be clear for students like me. Yeah, yeah. binary. Yeah. Otherwise, I will multiply with 2. Ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, okay. Uh, right, sir. Uh, okay, sir. Right. Now, what I am saying is, we are not taking this alone. We are taking with e power 2 pi i. So, once you have taken this and keep it in the e power 2 pi i 1.01, .01, this 1 is not having significance. Yes. I hope it's clear. Yes, because it will become 1 or yes. uh, 1 if, when uh, x is equal to 0 or 1. Yes. Yes sir. yes, sir. So, finally, e raised to 2 pi i 5 by 2 cube is nothing but 5 by 2 cube, sir. e raised to 2 pi i 5 by 2 cube is 0 0.101. This is as it is. No change, sir. Now, e raised to 2 pi i 5 by 2 square. This is, this one no use. Okay. That means... No. Yes, e raised to 2 pi i point zero 0.01. Now, similarly, third one, sir. 5 by 2. I hope now you got the clarity. 5 by 2. 2 cube into 2 square. Mm. Equal to uh, 3 to the power of 2 square. Mm. 3 to the power of 2 pi. No, no, here, here. Two 
2 square, 2, des, two points. Yes, exactly. But whatever the integral value we got, this will go to e power 2 pi i. Yes, exactly. That's why this is nothing but e power 2 pi i 0.1. Now, carefully observe, sir. We will write uh, in order now. First, we have this. Please see this one first by 2. Okay. Now, e raised to 2 pi i 5 by 2 equal to. So, this is nothing but e raised to 2 pi i uh, point. Sir, can you please tell me this is 1 is the first bit or last bit? I repeat. Is the first bit, sir? No, no. From the, first, from the left or right? Huh? From the left it is first bit, but you asked me to consider from the right, so it will be the last bit. Yes, exactly. This is the reason why we will apply swap again. Okay, one minute. So, this one is the last one, sir. Point 0.1. Next, e raised to 2 pi i 5 by 2 square. This is e raised to 2 pi i. Sir, this, this is the base. From this, please tell me. 2 square. 2 square. It is uh, uh, 2.01. Ah, 0 0.01. That's good. Next, e power 2 pi i. 5 by 2 cube. This is, you know, already. 2 pi i. Simply point whatever the 5. Whatever 5. Right, completely. That's it. So, whenever we are shifting to the left, Uh, after the decimal, when uh, uh, I'm talking about the decimal, mm. Mm. this will become a decimal, that is, will, will accept. Is it, is there a chance that we could 1.01 or 1.0000 is there a possibility? Here, in this case? No, uh, anywhere, general case. Uh, take 7, for example. Mm. If you take 7, you won't get any 0, all 1s only. It depends upon the input what you are taking. Mm -hmm. For example, 7 I have taken, sir. No? One, 7. One, one. 7 by 2 cube, 7 by 2 square, 7 by 2 power 1. That's it. Only 3 terms. Because I have taken 3 qubits. Correct. So, 7 by 2 cube means simply... One, one, one. Ah, that's it. Now tell me this one. 1.11, one uh, one one, sir. Ah, ah, correct, correct. 1.11. 1 1 .1. But we won't take this. I hope you understand. Yes. Yeah, next one. So, 1.1. Uh, one one. That's it. So, when you go to the exponential, yes. could you please... One one also won't take because yeah, we won't take. We won't take. That's what I'm saying. Okay. If it is exponential, now could you please tell oh, me what is this? Becoming an integer, sir. That's why you are getting the integer. Ah, 2 so, pi i, I point one one one. Now this is exponential 2 pi i 7 by 2 square. This integral value won't come. e power 2 pi i. So 0 0.11 and this is e power 2 pi i 7 by 2 cube e power 2 pi i that is a point 1. So whenever maximum number you have taken, 2 cube is the maximum because 3 qubits you have taken. 2 cube is the maximum. The last qubit is here. Last one. Okay? And like that, it will shift one by one, one by one like that. But fine. Some rule is move from right to the left, sir. Oh, one minute, one minute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. This is 2. I'm sorry. 7 by 2, 7 by 2, 7 by 2. I'm sorry. If it is a maximum 2 power 3, all bits will be there. Point x1, x2, x3, so on, xn. Mm. As you are decreasing, as you are decreasing, one by one will shift. Actually, you are not decreasing. You are multiplying with two. 
again you are multiplying with 2 then what will happen the decimal point will shift towards right the decimal will shift towards right like this that's why we are getting Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Now it's clear. Is it clear, sir? Yes, sir. Very clear. Thank right. you so right. much. Right. Right. Okay. Now, <coughs> so once again, I am writing this uh, quantum Fourier transform. This is one over root n. This is a uh, ket zero plus e raised to two pi i x by two ket one tensor ket zero plus e raised to 2 pi i x by 2 square 1 tensor so on 0 plus e raised to 2 pi i x by 2 power n 1. Sir now let us write this in the uh, binary earlier you said one word binary division or something. Binary fraction. Ah, binary fraction. Okay sir x by 2 x by 2 means actually x1, x2, so on, xn by 2. Once again, please go back to that and take the analogy. Whenever you have 7 by 2, the last qubit. 7 by 2 square, the last 2 qubits. 7 by 2 cube, the last 3 qubits. I hope you got it. Now, yeah, tell me. So, without any confusion, so whole power, I mean x by 2, that means we have to take only last qubit. Am I right, sir? Yes. Then this is nothing but point xn. I, I will write more one more time clearly. So here we want to check what is x by 2. x by 2 is nothing but x1, x2, so on, xn by 2. Earlier I said, okay. Whenever you are dividing, this x on the left side is basically a decimal. Decimal. These are binary. Binary on the right side, and then you are asking me what would this be? Equivalent form. So x one dot x one decimal to x three till n. No. No. See here, sir. Reverse, reverse, sir. Ah, yeah. Now, dot xn. Dot. That's good. That's it. That's correct. So, but integer value we have. We need not to consider. That's why we are taking only point xn. Okay. And now, similarly, this one. So, just for understanding. Yeah. Uh, so this is still uh, x is like this. Uh, point by two. What I will get is uh, point x n minus uh, one also I know the so uh, point x n minus two. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No no no. Careful careful. You are getting confusion. Then what is x write down? X one x two so on x n by 2 square simple logic whenever you have 10 square from the right side after two digits you will place the point right similarly if you have 2 square from the right side leave 2 qubits and put the dot so, so i put it so point x n minus 1 into x n that's it And so on. X so power three two. I'll do, sir. Three I'll do. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So point Xn minus two into Xn minus one. Into Xn because I counted for all the three periods. Yes, correct. So finally, X by two power n is nothing but all. I mean, we have to put the dot after all qubits. All qubits. That's why. So point X1, X2, X3, everything till Xn. That's it. So this is what they are writing in the books or some explanations. This is also a valid one. They are writing like this. Actually in my derivation also I will use that, uh, this same thing. So x by 2, that is the last one.
So 2 square, that's why point uh, xn minus 1 xn, so on. Yeah, fine. Which number you are taking? 5 or 7 or 6 or anything you can take? No, I am taking for 3, uh, three cubits. So, I think I am writing x1, x2 power. Okay, okay. Fine, fine. No issue. Mm. Understand. So, then, first is 3 cubits. So, it's 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 times x1. So, I counted the last, the last two. My God is uh, get 0 plus e to the power of 2 pi i uh, 0 point xn minus 2 into xn minus 1 into xn. Last one, you are saying this one? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, actually, 3 cubits you have taken now. Nah? Why don't you take x1, x2, s3 and do it? I think it's a bit confusing with the n no n minus 1. x1, x2, x3 you can take. Okay. Hmm. Please write. write. So, it is 1 by root n. 1 by root n is 1 by root 8. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. One minute, let me maximize this. Right, let me maximize. Yes. Ha, right. Correct. Little bit up, sir. Little bit. Ah, that's good. That's nice. Fine. It's fine. So, finally, we got a QFT of this uh, X. For 3 qubits, you have written like this. So, your X decimal is nothing but contains binary X1, X2, X3. Sorry, X1, X2, X3. Okay, now you have written already 1 by root 8. This is ket 0 plus e raise to 2 pi i. I think better to, you better to say. Shall we write another form and then this form? Okay. So, if you see carefully, first we derived one thing. Uh, yeah, this formula. This one. Okay. Right. So, this is 2 pi i x by 2 ket 1 plus sorry tensor ket 0 plus e raise to 2 pi i x by 2 square ket 1 and only 3 terms will be there x yes that's correct now you are finding for example uh, I think this can be written as 1 over root 8. Just now you have written the same format. This is e raised to 2 pi i. x by 2 is nothing but last uh, one. Uh, you, you can make one useful note from the video. Huh. Here you can write uh, the top uh, e cube is less than 0 in the decimal format. Hmm. You can write that uh, it is uh, in the binary format so that Binary 
binary fraction that is what you are saying binary fractions Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 got it. Xn, ket1, this is 2 times, that's why 0 plus e raised to 2 pi i, so that is a point x2, sorry. Oh, xn, why I'm taking xn, I'm sorry. One minute. No, 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 actually we have taken x1, x2, x3, no, sir? x2, x3, okay, cat1, next, yes, that's good, yes, 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 so this is the Fourier transform of 3 qubits for any x value any x value lying between 0 and 7 because the 3 qubits means 0 and 7. If you are finding for 0, simply replace x with 0. If you are finding for 1, simply replace x with 1. I hope you got it. But here in this format, if you are writing for 2, if you are writing for 2, you have to replace x1, x2, x3 with, I think this is a 0, uh, 0, 1, 0. Your x1 is a 0, your x2 is a 1, your x3 is a 0. So, can I attempt this for 0 from 0 and I share the answer? Sure, sure. So, you said uh, this will become 0, 1, 0 because it is 3 Yes, yes, yes. Let me know if I can. Yes. Last. Right, 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 right. Right, correct, sir. Absolutely right. Means that first you have written, uh, sir, this is a 0 plus e raised to 2 pi i. You have written point zero zero. Okay. So this is nothing but 1. So that's why it won't do anything with that zero. Zero input, zero bit. So, right, okay. Right, sir? This is over, sir. Now we have to enter into that circuit. Shall we take a break? <laughs> Is it okay? 10 o'clock means for you, I think, is it 11 o'clock or 10, 9 o'clock? So, 8.40 okay. Shall we meet at 9 o'clock? Is it okay? But, I will Yeah, yeah. I will go for break first, actually. I will take break first and come back within 15 minutes. Okay, so we'll, we'll meet at uh, 9 o'clock, my time is 10.30. 9 o'clock means for you it is 10.30. No, no, for, for me it is 
ओके 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 फर् मीट्स ओके नो प्रॉब्लम टेन थर्टी टेन थर्टी यस सर यस सर